This is a quick introduction video to Widget Oco, a demonstration app for Bridge.net. After you've downloaded the .exe file, you just double click to start the setup process and it'll take a couple moments to complete. Once finished setup, the Widget Oco application will automatically launch. Widget Oco is a fairly basic app that'll just allow us to tap into the Twitter stream and find tweets that are happening in real time based on a search filter or filter term that we supply. But before we can get started, we need to register our app with Twitter. And to do that, you go up to the file menu, select options, and there are four access keys that we need to generate from Twitter. And to do that, you click on the register link and this will bring you to the Twitter new app registration. You have to be logged in with your Twitter account. And then you just fill out these basic details of uh, name, description, and website. And you accept the de developer agreement and then click the button to create. The access tokens that we need are under the keys and access tokens tab. And there are already two created, but you need to click this button, create my access token to create the other two. And then we need to copy each of these values into the widget OCO uh, options config. And we need these two here. And you click save. At any time, you can regenerate or revoke your access tokens, or you can completely delete the app registration from Twitter by selecting the Details tab and then clicking on the Delete Application button. The setup of Widget Oco is now complete, so let's start filtering for some tweets. I'm going to enter in the term Software and then click the Start button, and almost immediately, Widget Oco has tapped into the Twitter tweet stream and is capturing these tweets that all uh, somewhere in the description or the usernames contained the term software. The term software is obviously quite popular on Twitter, so there's a lot of tweets coming coming in. And we'll just watch this run for a couple seconds. We can also flip on the notification switch, which will instruct Widget Oco to send a system notification for each new tweet that is captured that matches the filter term. And there's a buffer built into the notifications so that only one is sent at a time instead of flooding the system with notifications. When the Widget Oco window is minimized, it's designed to run as a system tray application. So we minimize the window and then we can find Widget Oco under here and we can right click on the icon and we can start and stop capturing the tweets from here and we can reopen the window. There's also a few settings to customize the app and you can explore through the menus, but one that I'll point out here is the theme. We can switch to a dark theme and switch back to a light theme. Under the help menu, you'll find links to the bridge.net website, the retyped website, and be sure to check out the Widget Oco project on GitHub. You'll find the full project source code written in C Sharp, as well as instructions on how to build the project from source.